what length of the graph of y equals 4 thirds x minus 8 is within the fourth quadrant. Now don't freak out at the word quadrant since quadrant has nothing to do with quadratics. In fact, in fact it's pretty simple if you think about it. Quadratants are basically on your coordinate plane, just a regular old coordinate plane. A qu quadrants are just there's like sections of the coordinate plane. There are four sections on the coordinate plane, right? One, two, three, and fourth quadrant. So, for example, like just to like, just like, like get you like know like know these quadrants, a uh, line with slope positive, like usually uh, it starts in the third quadrant, and you're gonna go up and into the first quadrant and possibly into the second and fourth quadrant, like like this line for example. It goes mostly in the third quadrant, and there's a little bit in the second quadrant, but then, but then the rest you stay in the first quadrant. So, erase that. So again, nothing too complicated. Just something new that you have to work with, like that. So, so well, well the length of the graph of this line, and it goes through the fourth quadrant. So that's a positive line. So it's so that kind of looks like this. So this is our line. And you want the length of the graph of this, which means you want, like you just want the length, or the part of the line, the length of the, of the little part of the line that goes through the fourth quadrant. So you want this line, that little line segment right in there. So, well, well we don't kind of have to, have to like think about this coordinate plane anymore. We can think what, what this is, a right triangle, right? And we, and we just want to find the length of the hypotenuse. Well, to find the length of the hypotenuse, well, you, well, you, well, you use the Pythagorean theorem, right? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So, well, that basically means, well, you want the base and the height. You want, you want the length of the base and the height of your right triangle. Well, we can find that, right? Since this length is just uh, from the, it's from this origin, all the way up to the x-intercept, right? Since it's in a little bit, that's the x-intercept of this line. And similarly here, this is the y-intercept, since well, this line is intercepting at the y-coordinate. So well, this problem, like, 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 it looks so fancy. Like length, graph, quadrant, fourth, like everything. But really, it's just asking you what are the x and y-intercepts. So really, this is not new things. It, it just that when you look at this, it, it looks complicated. Not, but it's not really anything special. Just x and y intercepts, and even that isn't that hard to figure out. Um, here, the y intercept is just negative eight, which is b. So this point down here is negative eight, and the x intercept basically the same thing. I can set y to zero, setting y to zero, and move over the negative eight, which is adding eight. So we get eight is. 4 thirds x and dividing by 4 thirds or multiplying by 3 quarters in other words we get 8 times 3 quarters cancel cancel and get 2 times 3 which is 6 and we get x is 6 so that means this thing over here is 6 so so that tells us that while well, the base is 6 and the height has a negative eight? Oh, I see, since this is a negative point, so like this distance isn't negative, right? It's it's just from negative eight, and you go up eight units to get to the origin. So really, the length, uh, sorry, the height is just eight, not negative eight. So, so if it was basically, so it's, so this, this is just, just the absolute value, right? You take the absolute value of eight, which is eight units, and the absolute value of six or six units. So now, now we can use the Pythagorean theorem. But if you think about this, sure enough, uh, like I guess you could use this since um, six squared is thirty-six plus eight squared sixty-four is c, and thirty-six plus sixty-four is a hundred. But uh, sorry, c squared. Sorry, uh, but um, it's and this is a hundred. Uh, and c is 10, but you can also use, think, well, 6 and 8, that's 
3, 4, 5 triangle, right? Since these are the bases, 3 times 2, 4 times 2, which means, well, the, well, the hypotenuse is 5 times 2, or, just like we found here, our answer is 10.